Team of the week. Team of the week this week. Yeah. Uh F four team double R racing. Yes. Um and that is because they have Saudi Arabia's first female racing driver, mm. Rima Jafali. Yeah. Making her debut at the F4 British Championship at Brands Hatch this weekend. Yeah, which is excellent, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Rima made her competitive racing debut in October 2018, only months after Saudi Arabia lifted their driving ban for the women. ban on women driving on the streets, which she was part of the face of the campaign to lift that to lift that ban. Right. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, she's been quite pivotal in in that and obviously being a driver being a formula one driver it's not easy when you're allowed to drive on the streets um in your home country so <laughs> no. she, yeah she's obviously overturned that and is now being a role model for young Saudi yeah. girls who either want to drive professionally or just want to drive cars in general very quickly <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just around the streets uh, and, and there's lots and lots of people going really quick in Saudi Arabia at the moment. I don't know why <laughs> Yeah, it's really good. Um, it's nice to see women on the formula, any formula grid. Really, it's it's good to see women in formula racing. Um, you don't see many female competitors, do you? So no, and it's one of those sports where, like, in theory, like mm. in my mind, there's no reason why no women can't. There is absolutely no reason. It wants the once the sort of taboos are lifted around it, and women are given the access to the sport, and then get into it in the same way um i think we are seeing that in a lot of sports at the moment as women coming yeah. through um it's the generational change is sort of coming through at the moment so in the next sort of 10 years i think we'll see a lot more women at high levels in these sort of mixed sports um where it's possible so it would be ushering in a new era yes good work double r Team of the week.